So the question here is asking us to identify x. So first we need to find, um, we need to balance this equation out. So on this side to our left we see that we have 235 on top and day 1. So that would be 236. And then on the bottom we have a 92 and 0. So we have a total value of 92. That's for this side. Now for the right side we have 139 and 94 for now excluding this 3x because we're going to work with that later. So that would give us 233 and then at the bottom we have 56 plus 36 which gives us 92. So now that that's already um, balanced and we know what we have on this side, now we want to figure out what we need on the right to get balanced with on the left. So now we take into account the 3x that we have here. So now x is the element that we want to identify, but first we need to balance it out to figure out what the atomic number and what the mass number is of this element. Um, so then we're going to start with here. 236 minus 233 is 3, so we're missing 3 on top. And then 92 and 92, well, that's already balanced, so we're missing none at the bottom. And then we have this 3 in the front. So this is what we're missing, this is what we have, and so this is what we want to find out now. This is our, our x, if you may want to say. So we have the 0, we have that missing value up here, and then we have this 3 right here as a coefficient. So now we need to figure out how we're going to get to this number by using this number. So now 3 times 1 is 3. So up here the value for the top is going to be 1. So we're going to have x, 1 on top, and 0 at the bottom. So now once we're going to check this, we're going to say 233 on top plus the 3 that we have here that we found out so that's going to equal up to 236, just as we have on the left side. And then the bottom side is going to stay the same because 3 times 0 is going to be 0. So that doesn't change. So we are equal now. We are 92 and 92 at the bottom. So now we're still left with that question of what's x. Well, here as we refer back to our question, we see that we have n right here. And so that's basically what x is going to be for this situation. Our missing x value is going to be n, like so, and that's x.